This what's powering the base? A magitech generator of some description. It would explain why the troopers in the vicinity are uncommonly strong. I say we wreck it. Spare us the sneaking around. The risk is too great. Finding the regalia comes first. Not a sound. You'll alert the anime. Got it. Pretty much just wandering around aimlessly, but it seems to be working to some degree. Found our car, but it is lit up. There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Change of plans. Our new objective is to clear a path for the regalia. Got a tough one on our hands. Oh, jeez. Hey! Get back! Good as new! All right. supposed to be shooting. Dead. I 
don't have any more of these, so... Just the bad boys. We'll take out the generator and all enemies in the area. Locked. Focus your efforts on the generator. There's a chance doing so will weaken the MTs. No more stealth. Our cover's blown. Go to town. Yes, sir! Big laser thingy. That way. Yeah. 
Yunji field is down. Ramu, the support struggling king, Arctis can call upon Gon's powers by hitting L2 to no, summon him. Come on. I gotta hold it down for a long time. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that stuff. Yeah. That did it. Light of the six. Dude, that was hardcore! And it did the trick. The place is dead. Rest in pieces. Come on, let's grab the regalia and split. That's pretty wicked. Piece of cake, huh? Hmm, this part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Pretty sweet busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. Uh, there's a base, we go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever, I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Easier said than done. Come on, there's got to be a way through here. Dang it. I just want to get to my... <laughs> I just want to get to my car. Let me out. Prompto, how do we get out of here? I'm lost. Jeez, they really should have made it easier to get back to the car from here. Here we go. About time. Don't tell me Arden's here. I mean, it makes sense, but... Ah, uh, guys? No, Long different guy. has it been, Noctis. Bravis. You received the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the chosen king. Awful high and mighty for an imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve, <laughs> I command. The king's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. Hey! Wanna go? Let's do it. Should the chosen fall, that too is fate. Are we really doing this? I'd say that's far enough. Aww. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. 
just so happens we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Hmm. Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravus Nox Flore, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freo. It's almost like Lord Seymour and Sephiroth. At long up. last, the Imperial blockades of the Sky and Roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to lead their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Ugh. If Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste. 